Now, we were reporting earlier at least five soldiers, including a senior Somali army commander, have been killed in an Islamist attack on a military base in Hawadli, north of the capital Mogadishu. Now, this latest attack comes a day after the government announced it had recaptured the key port of Haradri in central Somalia, which had been under jihadist control for 15 years. The latest attack comes after the government on Tuesday recaptured El Jir town a, a day after taking control over the key port town of Haradri in central Somalia. So let's bring in my colleague Beverly Ochenge, who joins us from BBC Monitoring in Nairobi. Just bring us up to date because we know um, a few more details coming through in on this in terms of the senior army commander who was amongst those. Yeah, there was a name that was issued. It was by one of the mainstream outlets. His name is Abdishir Shatehe, and he was among the five people who were killed in the attack. Of course, it comes just after the success by the army in the town of Haradere, and there has been a mixed bag of results over recent weeks against al-Shabaab. Of course, there's been this big offensive against them since August, backed by the armies being backed by clan militia as well as regional forces. They've taken some towns in the central region and the southern region. Al-Shabaab has been on the back foot for some time, but they've still carried out very deadly attacks. Just this month alone, about 30 or so people have been killed in three separate attacks in parts of Iran, which is slightly further off. But this town that they attacked today morning was a dawn raid. It's quite close to Mogadishu, it's about 60 kilometers away. There are concerns that this continued violence, given that the militants are losing ground, will be at risk to the capital. So the, the, this is um, a, a good news for the Somali military, for the Somali troops. Are they? How, how are they doing? How are they? They're, they're recapturing large swathes from Al Shabaab. Is this? How is this being seen across the country? Well, there's a lot of support for the military offensive against Al Shabaab. Just last week, there were mass protests in Mogadishu, anti Al Shabaab protests. There's been a big campaign by the President Sheikh Mohammed to clamp down on propaganda channels by the Al Shabaab in order to keep them quiet or to put them on, continue the back foot. But it's still a very mixed bag of results because the army is losing in as much as they are taking from Al Shabaab. Okay, well, Beverly Ochenge from BBC Monitoring, thank you very much.